Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with another part of the German Army Project. So today we're doing my third and final review of the new sets that I bought. And today we have the oh, the German Grenadiers box. As you can see, the World War II late war um, German infantry. Suitable for the late period, 44 to 45, due to um, what they're wearing and how they are equipped. And we have 30 hard plastic 28mm multi-pose miniatures. So of course, uh, great artwork from Osprey as always. Um, burning M5A1 half track, I think that's what it is. And a bunch of grenadiers advancing and stuff, very cool. Uh, on the back of the box you can see some painted examples. I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera a bit closer so you can see them in more detail. So you have a Panzerfaust soldier, um, you know, whatever. Um, an officer of some sort, just a grenadier, maybe a squad leader or something. Um, if you want to roll that way, um, a normal soldier and an MG42 carrier or whatever. Um, and we also have an example of a, a, a Waffen SS model. Um, all you have to do is literally give them the same color uniform and PDOT camouflage, or maybe not PDOT, but you know what I mean. Um, the specific SS camo. Um, these models make very good SS models, actually. Um, so the German Grenadiers box contains enough plastic components to make 30 late war German army miniatures, includes a host of options to allow for different weapon configurations and command models. Equipment included um, are STG-44 assault rifles, PPSH SMG, uh, Karn 98K rifles, MG-42 light machine guns, rifle grenade attachments, MP-40 submachine guns. Wait a minute. Oh no, they didn't already say that. They did say Karn 98K rifles though. <laughs> Uh, Gewehr 43, stick grenades, Panzerfaust, field glasses, and even an iron cross metal. Um, enough round bases to base all of your miniatures, construction leaflet, and full color water slide decals. If you wish, you can read the description on the back of the box now by pausing the video. And of course, they have um, Warlord's figurehead system. So that is the German Grenadier box. So let's actually take a look at what you get. And as people noticed, yes, I have a lot of programs open at any given time. Um, so when you first open the box, you're welcomed by a lot of sprues, um, which is really nice. But first of all, we're just going to take a look at the little things. So first off, um, well, I was going to tell you how you got, uh, first out of the box, a nice set of transfers, but I managed to lose that right before uh, the video. So to reiterate on what these are, um, here's the Fallschirmjäger one. So you can see it's a bunch of different insignias and stuff. But the Grenadier one um, looks like this. And it uses the generic here um, transfer sheet. So I mean, this is basically the same as showing you anyway. Yeah, OK, so it doesn't really matter. But here they are. That's all the ones that you get. Um, and yeah, it's just to add a little bit of like historical flavor to your model. So next up, we have uh, a sprue, a very simple sprue of five bases. So you get six of these. Um, so that equals 30 bases for your miniatures. And then the actual sprue that everybody wants to see, the uh, infantry sprue itself. So we'll start from this end, if I can get it to focus. So we have an MG42 with a uh, attachable bipod. We have two um, packs of MP40 um, magazines. We have an STG44. Um, not quite sure what these are called. Um, but I'm pretty sure that uh, they're, they're gas mask cases. Very good. And this one has a bayonet connected to it. Um, we have some personal kit. Um, that's all it's labeled as. This is all personal equipment that you can put on all of your models. We have a, uh, well, first of all, we have an arm carrying an MG42 over the shoulder. There we go. And we move on to um, torsos. So here we can see, well actually let's, let's take a look at these weapons first, um, just to be equal. So we have two arms holding in STG-44, and thank you Warlord for starting to put um, two, like three, uh, three pieces put together for your new kits, um, because before of course we used to have to do this ourselves. And then there's two arms holding a Car 98 k and an arm holding a map or orders, anything, piece of paper. You can put anything you want on it. So now we'll take a look at the bodies. So here we have a um, 
we have just a normal torso and legs just at the like at a maybe a marching not a marching pace but like a jog or a walk who knows and here we have another torso this is just the normal uniform here we have another torso wearing uh, the Zeltbahn tunic or um, um, whatever you would call it I'm not quite sure this is actually a quarter of a tent so whenever the army would stop or the division the regiment or whatever um, four men would put these together uh, to form a tent so that's pretty cool uh, here we have two more bodies. These ones are a bit more uh, stationary. This one especially is like a firing pose. This one's a bit more uh, lunching over, like he or lunching over what? Uh, leaning over. So he's you know maybe taking a look at something, firing his gun. Who knows? We have two arms holding a Gewehr 43. Uh, we have a kneeling body with his leg, and another uh, more stationary body with a Zeltbahn on. Uh, we have MG42 extra barrels uh, in a case. We have two arms firing a Car 98K. We have a loose Gewehr 43. Uh, we have an officer map case, I believe is what this is labeled as. Uh, a Panzerfaust. Uh, two arms holding a Panzerfaust, which is e bloody excellent because um, this is the first time, I believe, that we get arms firing a Panzerfaust, which is absolutely amazing. We have an arm carrying a box of MG42 belts, an MP40 loose, uh, and then a uh, weapon arm. So this can hold the STG, the MG42, or a um, MP40, and then this arm um, supports the MG42 and STG, and this arm is just for generic carrying, I believe, is what it's labeled as. Uh, and then to finish off, we have a MP40 on a sling, so you can put this around the back of a soldier's neck. We have a loose Car 98K, which can either be put in hands or around the back of someone. We have a PPSH uh, 41, I believe. Very nice. Uh, the Iron Cross medal that was mentioned earlier, and a bayonet, and a grenade launcher for Car 98Ks. Here we have uh, rifle ammo pouches. Um, no, this would be the map case and the pistol for the officer, so I'm not quite sure what the other one was. Um, oh, something's broken off here. Um, and I'm not quite sure what it was. That would be where a MG42 belt um, would have been sorry about that like this would be an mg42 belt that would go around someone uh, someone's neck apparently that broke off or something on this sprue whoops but either way we continue on uh, we have an arm holding a stick grenade a arm for carrying and uh, more arms for general things um, I think I think one of them might be used for holding an mp40 I'm not quite sure and the other one's just for holding rifles I think so then we move on to the heads and there are quite a few of them so here we have a uh, bear head there's no helmet on we have a couple of heads in field caps which look very nice we have an officer's head there's a nice cap on and then a uh, host of different helmets and different facial expressions which is excellent and yeah that is the main sprue of the set so the final and probably most important thing of the set is the uh, instruction leaflet. Um, so again, those are the same ch uh, same blokes that were on the uh, the box. And here is a picture of the sprue with everything listed out. Because of course, um, these loose arms that I told you about and the loose weapons, you need to put those together yourself. And if you don't use the right arms and the right weapons, it's not going to work. So you need to pay close attention to that kind of stuff. And thankfully with this you can. And on the other side, there's some useful information. Um, about different uh, models and you know a little bit of description about it. Um, someone's painted as a Waffen SS. This young Waffen SS soldier has removed. That sounded like French soldier has removed his helmet to better aim his rifle grenade. Blah 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 blah. It looks very nice. So this is basically just a bit of like ins inspiration. Um, it's like to get you excited to paint and stuff. As the war progressed, German officers dressed more like their men and less like a target for enemy snipers. He still looks like a bit of a target. Um, but yeah. It's not so. Oh, there's an example of the uh, MG42 belts, by the way, on these guys. Um, it's not quite so interesting as the Fallschirmjäger one, if I'm honest, um, because the Fallschirmjäger one showed a bunch of early, like, different stages, but of course, that sets for more of the war than this one is. Um, but I do like the fact that they have multiple pic pictures of SS troops. Um, and uh, again, literally, all you have to do is paint the camo different on these models, and you have your SS soldiers, uh, which can save you a lot of money because the SS soldiers are all uh, metal. The, uh, the actual models, so a lot cheaper. And there we go. Yeah, so that is the um, components of the set. So I am going to go ahead 
and bring out some of my finished, uh, maybe not so much finished, but my uh, built models. Um, so, first up, we have um, a squad of 10. So let me just get them all out here. Oh. So this is probably how I would run a uh, Grenadier squad in bolt action um, in a game with this loadout. Um, so basically what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six riflemen, one MG42 gunner, one of these men is the, um, this guy, is the uh, support weapon, or the support loader, whatever, for him. So they count as a team. So it's five riflemen plus one in the MG42 team, two assault rifles, and the NCO has an MP40. So yeah, that's how I would run my Grenadier squad at 10 men, that is. Um, if you drop down to eight or even nine, of course, you can bring, um, you can put an STG on the on the squad leader. It's it's up to you, really, whatever you want. Um, I thought he would look cool if he was different from the STG guys. And I mean, two assault rifles is pretty good for an average squad. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and take a look at some of these models now. So here we have a rifleman um, who has a Panzerfaust. That's another thing, they're armed with Panzerfausts. Um, there's only two modeled onto the squad, so I might try to grab some more um, to get them up to four, because that's how many they're allowed to have. But he's just um, kind of advancing with his rifle down. So that's him. Uh, here we have another Grenadier firing a Panzerfaust, lining it up, getting ready to shoot some allied armor. Um, we have a rifleman that's kind of advancing and firing. This one I started painting, so please excuse the uh, the color. There we go. He is spray painted, by the way. I spray painted him gray. You can kind of see the difference. Um, you can see the difference in color. Maybe not. Maybe not. Not on camera so much, but he is spray painted. I like to spray paint uh, these models gray. Uh, here we have another rifleman that's um, maybe getting ready to take a shot after just just after taking a shot. Um, he's ob observing the battlefield, who knows, uh, and he's in Zeltban, and bloody hell, these models are absolutely beautiful. Uh, now we have another advancing rifleman, he has his Gewehr 43, and he is also in his uh, Zeltban poncho. That's what the word was, it's a poncho. <laughs> uh, next up we have our MG42s, or our MG42, rather. Uh, so this isn't just an extra rifleman, but... Um, it does state in the rules that if you bring an MG42, one man becomes a loader, so you know, I'm just designating that with him. Um, so he's carrying two boxes of ammunition, and he has his uh, Car 98K on his back, and a spare uh, spare barrels right here. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And then we have uh, this man advancing with the MG42. Um, so he just has it in his hands, and he's moving up with that. Nice bit of equipment on him. And then finally, we have our um, assault riflemen. So here's one with an STG-44. Very nice. And then the other STG-44 um, armed grenadier. There we go. So you can see him. The models are absolutely stunning, of course, as always. Um, so big... Uh, Big kudos to Warlord Games for making amazing models. And here's the NCO, and he has his MP40. Now, I took this uh, MP40 from the Fallschirmjäger kit, so it's kind of cheating to say that this is a review and unboxing, looking at the models when I used uh, other bits, but I had to do it. It looks so good. But yeah, the arms are and MP40 are from the Fallschirmjäger kit, but they fit right in. Um, I might need to shave down um, the little buttons on his, um, on his sleeves, but that's fine. But it looks really good. Um, and he's a nice, it, it, it's, it's a, a different model from the rest, so it makes him look like an actual NCO, which is nice. But yeah, guys, um, oh, nope, there's actually one more section to this. Now, this is my example of making um, SS soldiers. So, I will go ahead and grab them. This is um, five men out of however many SS soldiers that I plan to have. Um, they're all armed with assault rifles, because why not? Um, SS squads are absolutely deadly, especially when you give them all assault rifles. 
but uh, let's just go through them. So I've decided to make them a bit more rugged, elite looking. So I, cho I chose a lot of them to have the Zalt Band just so there's a lot more um, camo on them. But uh, there are a couple that don't have them and they're just going to be painted, you know, in the SS colors. But here we have one man who's advancing with his STG. Sturm Gewehr. Um, let's see, that's him. We have one that's on his knees, um, or on one knee, rather, firing. So that's quite nice. Uh, we have another soldier, just full out, probably full auto firing. Um, you know, he's screaming because, of course, in every war movie ever, you have a scene where someone goes mad and they're just like, ah, while they're shooting a bunch. So there's that. I had to had to do that with one model at least. And then we have another advancing um, SS soldier who's getting ready to lob a grenade. And then the squad leader. Um, if he's going to be the leader of an SS uh, squad, he's got to be really elite looking. I put the Iron Cross on him. Um, he's a bit of an officer looking chap. And yeah, he has some binoculars telling the squad where to go. So yeah, that's at least five models. Um, I might boost the squad up a little bit more uh, if I feel like I should. Um, I don't really get to play the game, so I'm kind of limited on... I'm not Actually, I'm not limited, rather, on what I want to build. I can literally build whatever I want. I could have made this whole box SS if I really wanted to. And you can do that, too, if you really <laughs> feel the need to. Um, like, for example, this has nothing to do with this box set, but... Um, since I have the um, resources, I took this base from one of my 40k sets, and I'm making a medium machine gun team uh, for out of Falschenjäger models. So like, um, here's a spotter, here is the gunner, he's carrying the machine gun, and here is the support loader. Um, of course, an M uh, a medium machine guns. Medium machine gun models are usually set up. For example, the British one that I have, or Canadian, um, so you can see here it's one solid big metal piece, and all of the crew go around it. Whereas um, with these plastic ones that I'm making myself, um, they're more advancing. And you can buy uh, machine gun teams that are advancing, and I think once they're all painted and put on a base, and uh, well, based, so there's grass and flowers and stuff everywhere, um, I think that's going to look really cool. But yeah, that's just an example of what you can do with these plastic sets to save yourself a little bit of money. Because those teams, while not super expensive, can be like, I don't know, like 10 to $16 or something like that. I'm not quite sure. But, you know, it's just money you can save. You can buy this box and make your squads and um, infantry support teams pretty easily. But guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying this uh, bolt action series, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be plenty more coming out as I start painting these guys more and more. Um, thank you to Haxo, Johnny, Nicholas, Fish, and Andreas for pledging five or more dollars per month on Patreon. You guys are the best. And I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, goodbye.